In this presentation, I will outline the difference between AC and DC power, how AC power is produced, and the characteristics of AC power. I will also talk briefly how the use of AC power relates to X-ray production. AC is the most common form of electricity used in the United States. The term AC stands for alternating current. What alternates is the direction of the electricity in the wire. Periodically, the electricity's direction will change in the wire, first flowing from left to right, then switching right to left. This reversal in direction happens very quickly at a rate of 120 times per second. Presently, AC power is produced by generators, whereas DC power is most commonly produced by batteries. It's possible to convert AC to DC using an inexpensive device called a diode, but the conversion from DC to AC is more complex and requires a device called an electrical inverter. AC power is the power found in wall outlets and is transmitted from building to building using power lines. X-rays rely on AC power to generate the high voltages necessary for X-ray production. The conversion of 120 volts to 70 kilovolts needs a transformer. Transformers require AC power to make the conversion process possible. In single phase X-ray machines, the frequency of AC powering the machine affects the radiation emitted by the X-ray tube. It is no coincidence that a single phase X-ray unit produces 100 pulses of radiation per second in step with the AC electricity powering the X-ray machine. Unlike DC, AC power is not generally produced using batteries. Most AC power in the United States is generated by converting rotary kinetic energy into electricity using a device called a generator. In the early 1820s, Michael Faraday discovered that moving a coil of wire in a magnetic field would produce a current in the wire. In its most basic form, a generator consists of a large magnet. Inside this magnet, we place a coil of wire. As we spin the coil in the magnetic field, a current flow is induced in the wire. As the wire spins, the coil's angle of motion changes relative to the magnetic field, and with it, the voltage in the wire varies. This animation illustrates the difference between DC and AC power. For DC power, the electrons always flow from negative to positive and only in one direction, whereas AC power alternates the direction of the electron flow. Electricity flowing out of a hot wire for 120th of a second and then flowing into the hot wire for another 120th of a second. Let's move the wire to the bottom of the slide and draw some lines to graph the voltage and the electricity's direction. The upper dashed line represents 120 volts with the electrons flowing from left to right. And the lower dashed lines represents 120 volts in the opposite direction. As the electrons move through the wire, they generate a voltage sine wave. The variation in voltage is characteristic of AC power generation. It is not the defining characteristic of AC power. The alternation of direction of flow is the defining characteristic. In radiology, the period of time it takes the coil to complete a rotation is important. The single sine wave of power represents one complete revolution of the coil in the magnetic field. In the United States, AC power is generated at precisely 60 cycles per second or one cycle of the coil takes 1 60th of a second to complete rotation. The timing of these cycles is precisely controlled. Many devices use this timing to synchronize operation. In addition to timing, 
A se second characteristic of power generation that is important to a radiographer, and that characteristic is illustrated by drawing a second line dividing the cycle in half. This period represents 1 120th of a second, which is exactly 1 half of a 60th of a second. This period is called one pulse of electricity. At one time, X-ray machine timers would count the number of pulses to measure exposure time. Later, you will find that a single phase full wave rectified X-ray machines don't produce a constant stream of radiation, but rather 120 discrete pulses of radiation per second. To review, the United States uses AC power in our homes, businesses, and hospitals. This power is generated on demand by power plants and carried by a network of wires to the electric company's customers. AC power is generated at a maximum voltage of 120 volts. The voltage in the line varies from 0 volts to the maximum voltage at the rate of 120 times per second. In the U.S., AC power is generated at a rate of 60 cycles per second, or 60 hertz. The rate of 60 cycles per second is carefully controlled by the power company because it is used to coordinate and time functions for many devices, like clocks, televisions, and x-ray machines, just to name a few. So one cycle of power occurs over one rotation of the coil and represents 360 degrees of rotation. The cycle of power can be further divided into pulses of power, two per cycle. Each pulse lasts for 1 120th of a second, half the rotation of the generator's coil. These 120 pulses of power can explain the characteristic of an X-ray beam in a single phase generator and how some older machines measured exposure time. This has been an introduction to AC power for the radiographer. Thank you for your attention.